So initially, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna pick up my phone to say anything about this because I made a post about it on Facebook. Um, but it's something that sis Deanna Tullison just said that um, man, many of us are uniting under the umbrella of Yahusha Hamashiach. Because, and, and, and we have been awakened, okay? So, it's in my spirit to talk about this. About the awakening that happened. That all you people want to blindly ignore, okay? Now, I know. I got many people on my list. On my friends list. That knew me back in the day. On virtual worlds. There's many lurkers. Many, many lurkers on my profile. Many lurkers. My friends list. Followers, people in the background. And I don't got a lot of followers. And I don't care about that. Okay? Because I, I ain't never done this for clout. I just done what came naturally to me. Okay? So when the father woke me up, I started posting about these things. Okay? And I know that my whole page completely changed. It made a whole turnaround, okay? It turned all the way around to the other side, all right? It was no longer the same. I was no longer participating in the same wickedness that I was participating in. So I know that there are people on my list that see that change that took place with me and because they knew me okay they knew who I was on these virtual worlds on Kineva and even into on SL yeah there's a lot of them because I built my my Facebook my Facebook I created it around my the virtual life okay around the 3d virtual life and all my friends that I had before all my Hebrew friends were all my virtual buddies, you know. And many of them I don't really know them that well. Many, of, I'm going I'm gonna be keep it 100% real, okay? I'm gonna talk about some things because on these virtual worlds, it's a lot of racism, okay? A lot of deep-seated racism, you know, closet bigotry, and it came out. A lot of it came out, and I got to see it firsthand. I experienced it, okay? Oh, yeah. I experienced it. All of them. Most of them. Closet bigots. Yeah. It's very prevalent. On these virtual worlds. Even down to the avatars. The skins. Now SL did progress. They did progress. And they did finally get some nice. Well melanated people skins. Okay. Because I'm not no longer going to call us black. Alright. I don't want to call us black. But I know that people identify with that. People that that's what we've been stigmatized as and labeled as. But I, I don't I don't no longer wanna be labeled black, okay? So literally I I'm changing that and I will just refer to to us as melanated people. We we are the melanated people of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? We are the condensed sun. Okay? We are the light. We are the true light upon the earth. Alright? Now, that being said, these people seen uh, the awakening happen with me. Okay? Now, I ain't gonna name no names, but I know that there are people that see me in the midst of my wickedness, getting pissed, drunk, and freaking cussing, swearing, messing with all kinds of women. All right? I'm just keeping it 100% real.
to go from that to posting scriptures and literally studying Hell, posting my test results. <laughs> yes, I literally post. I took. I took tests, online biblical tests. I tested my knowledge of what I read. When I read a chapter, if it gave a quiz at the end of that chapter, I literally took that quiz and I posted all of that. All <laughs> right. Now, most of it went ignored, and it's okay. Like I said, I never did this for clout. I did this for my own records. But the thing is, yeah, we're in the end. We're we're literally at the end. The awakening has happened. Truth is being unveiled. Yet there are many people that still get blinders on their eyes. Many people that refuse to acknowledge the wrongs that have been done to the true light upon the earth. The true chosen seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The so-called Negro. We have yet to be restored as a people. And you Gentiles out there that want to continue, continue to just blindly ignore that. Like it doesn't matter. We don't matter. Color doesn't matter. If, if it didn't matter. Why did you change it? Okay? Your people changed it. Pale-skinned people, those that lack melanin, they changed it. They painted the likenesses of themselves. Okay? Now, just because they took the book of Maccabees about the Bible to try to hide that, does not make it non-existent that they didn't do it, okay? Because we can all go to Google right now and type in Jesus Christ and see Google flood to us millions of pictures of white Jesus, okay? It's very blatant. Is very evidently crystal clear. But you want to ignore that. And then you want to say color don't matter. You want to ignore that. And say color don't matter. <laughs> if it truly didn't matter. Why you feel the need to say something? Huh? Especially when we can prove that your people. Changed the color. Because it mattered, it clearly. And if it didn't matter, why is it mentioned of all throughout the scripture? Now, that being said, I made a post. Now, I didn't expect it to blow up like it did with 121 comments. Okay? But... This blew my mind yesterday, okay? This white pastor of an Illinois church literally had the audacity, the nerve, the gall to say that they're going to fast from whiteness. I, I, I literally could not stop laughing, but then it made me like really upset <laughs> you know and I know that I, I really shouldn't let these people anger me and that I really shouldn't let them upset me and get under my skin and under my fingernails you know but bruh <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> like are you serious right now so not let's get rid of 
white supremacy because it's wrong and we know that it's wrong we know it's wrong to feel like we're superior to other races of people upon the earth even though this is what we're taught in the school system okay we're Charles Darwin alright this is what they're teaching evolution okay that w this is a racist complete racist ideology okay that they're teaching they've taught so this is why you have this mindset that you're superior. Now, you want to teach these things. And this is why you're in the mindset that, that you're in. And you're stuck. And then I'm, I'm like between a rock and a hard place because it's like, <sighs> bruh. I've been awakened to this truth, okay? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And at the same time, I can't hate you. At the same time, I feel sorry for you, and my heart breaks for you, because you are about to be destroyed. And at the same time, I rejoice because my redemption is drawing nigh. All these different emotions running through me at the same time. You want to ignore it. You want to ignore the fact that this awakening has happened. This is prophecy, people. This is prophecy that you want to ignore. Just because you took it out of the so-called Holy Bible doesn't mean that it ain't coming to pass and that it didn't come to pass and that there's more to come to pass. It's coming. Your judgment is coming, and I already put out many videos about it. Now, I'm going to read to you this post that I put out. Solution for hundreds of years of genocide, rape, and theft of our lands, etc., etc., etc. This whole Gentile got the nerve to sit here and, and say that they're they going to fast from whiteness. I said these Gentiles done lost their damn mind. So after hundreds of years of raping, robbing, murdering, outright genociding my people, this is your atonement? Really? You're going to fast from whiteness? Really? So you just going to pick your own judgment, huh? That's what you think? You think you're going to be able to atone for your atrocities and the atrocities of your forefathers your own way? Well, I got news for you. Whether you accept it or not, judgment is coming for you. And it ain't going to be no rapture. You've been lied to. The Gentiles have inherited lies. They are going to come from the ends of the earth and declare, Surely our fathers have inherited lies and things wherein there is no profit. Oh yeah! You're going to face your wickedness right along with the wickedness of your forefathers who got this land by shedding much blood. You built on top of our bodies. You built on top of our blood. You destroyed our stuff. You came over here and you were astonished. You were astonished at the greatness of our people. You write about it in your old ancient history books that you hide away. You don't put in the textbooks. Oh no, you put lies in the textbooks while you scribble in a darkness the truth about what you've seen over here in these lands when you came over here. And the pictures that we see these ancient pictures that we see of ancient Tataria all over the earth. 
and the World Fair and all that. That matches. That 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 kind of lines up with the descriptions that you guys gave in your records that you wrote about when you came over here and was completely astonished, amazed at the greatness, at the civilization that was over here before you came to destroy it. And I know, I know that it was the fault of my forefathers. So you Israelites out there listening, that you think that I'm just like picking on the Gentiles and I'm just bashing them and all of this. Oh no, it is time for the truth to be released. Understand that the spirit of truth is in the earth these days. And he has caused his willing vessels to speak up and speak these words in the ears of those that got the ears to hear and the heart to receive and then the eyes to see. We are commanded to bring these things forth. It's within us. I'm only doing what he put in my spirit to do. So be careful before you judge and condemn me for doing what he told me to do. This is not out of hatred. I already know that I cannot hate them. I already know that I have to accept any and all that repent wholeheartedly and turn to the most high our power. I have to accept them and embrace them as a brother, as a sister, as a family member of the household of the Most High Almighty. I don't reject any of them that repent. This is to the unrepentant. This is a call to those that have yet to repent. And even to those that refuse to repent. Because you are the ones to fear. Oh yeah, you gonna fear. Great fear. You best fear. Because great judgment is coming for you. And it ain't going nowhere. You're gonna face it. Just like I just said on this post. It ain't going nowhere. You ain't gonna be raptured. You're gonna face your wickedness. Right along with the wickedness of your forefathers. You got this land by shedding much blood. You live by the sword. You die by the sword. You lead into captivity. You go into captivity. All of you who are still to this day reaping the benefits of the genocide and downtrodding of my people, you will pay unless you repent. But there are many of you that are going to have a hard heart. There are many of you that are going to harden their heart even more like the Gentile that was on this post. White Jesus ain't coming to rapture you. It don't matter if you accept the scriptures that you took out of the so-called Holy Bible. Them scriptures are being brought back by the true seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ain't nothing you can do to stop it. Just like it ain't nothing you can do to stop this judgment coming for your ass. It's going to come upon your ass like a dog. Like a dog running after your ass. Always oh, gonna get you. <sighs> Let me calm down a second. <sighs> Bruh. I did not expect. Oh, man. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm I'm just reading the other comments because I had I there's been more since I took a break from this. Like he still own like, <sighs> bro. He commented one more time. Let me see. (sighs) 
Ah, oh, man, this. I feel I feel bad for the dude. You know, like I I don't have I'm not I'm not angry at him. I don't hate him. You know, I, like I got a little frustrated. Uh, you know, I mean I think I have every right to be a bit frustrated, especially in the situation that I'm currently in, still facing affli affliction right now, still like, bruh. I'm tired of this captivity, okay? I'm real I'm really I'm really tired of it. And the father did not wake us up for the hell of it, okay? It is a reason that he woke us up in the lands of our captivity. Now you guys took that scripture up out of the so called Holy Bible. That's in Baruch. Okay, I think it's two thirty. Something. Let me let me see. And there's also apocalypse of, of Baruch that we gonna get. Alright, yep, second Baruch two thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am the most high their power, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear. See I we already had the eyes to see because we lived it our whole life. We 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 literally lived this oppression our whole life, so we we've been seeing it. Okay, so that's why I didn't even mention the eyes to see, because we already had the eyes to see. It was happening to us. We got to see it all our life. Okay, but he gave us the ears to hear. He gave us a heart to receive. Okay, for I would give them a heart and ears to hear. Okay, he did that in 2017. Okay. He did that. There was a mass awakening. 2016, 2017, all the way through 2019. Oh, yes. Mass awakening. Do you remember? I know you remember because it was on the news. It got so it got so big. It, 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 it made the evening news. Okay. So let's stop ignoring the elephant in the room, people. The elephant has already busted through the wall. You cannot ignore a big ass several ton elephant sitting in your living room now, can you? It done already busted through the wall. So you now you now you just being ignorant. Now you just covering your eyes. No, it's not there. It doesn't, it's not there. No, no, no. The elephant is not there. It's, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wish it away. Just wish it away. We 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 we, we just gonna fast, okay? We're gonna fast from whiteness. <laughs> oh man they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sin before the most high and I will bring them again see this part right here in 33 hmm? this part right here in 33 and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds we done that. There's a third of us that's done that. And we still working on things. We still working on things. I just put out a video um, yesterday. I, well, I uploaded a couple yesterday. But one of the ones that I uploaded was my confessions. Like my, my struggles, my hangups, my struggles, confessions, etc. Yo, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I pull the clothes off my own self. I pull the clothes off my damn self, okay? Can't nobody, can't nobody tell my business because I tell my own damn business, all right? So, yeah, I, I admit my flaws. I admit my faults. I, I, I let people know I ain't perfect. I ain't walking around here all self-righteous like I'm all just holier than thou, better than everybody else. Hell no. But we have returned from specific, specific wicked deeds and from our stiff neck ways because he gave us the ears to hear him, right? So those, those that are his sheep, those that he chose, we are his sheep. We hear his voice and we have followed accordingly. Okay, that happened. 
We return from our stiff neck ways. We return from our wicked deeds. Okay? We, we turn from that. And we turn to our Heavenly Father. Okay? We turn our hearts to Him. So He turned His face back to us. And you want to ignore that? Oh, but that's so dangerous for you. That's so dangerous for you. And I feel sorry for you. Because all this time, the Father had His face turned away from the earth. You had hundreds of years of darkness upon the earth. Hundreds of years of nothing but lies upon the earth. You had no opposition. You had no, the spirit of truth was not operating within the earth. You didn't stamp most of it out. As you mar, you killed them. You martyred them. Oh yeah, the martyrs. When you first came into power, right? This is what the seal portion talks about. The first, the first of the prophets, okay? The first of them that came when you started this country. When you came over here, with, with your Bible, there, there were those of us, there were some of us that were keeping the laws of the Most High, the eternal law of love, and we treated our neighbors the way that we wanted to be treated, and you martyred us, the Inquisition, you martyred those that didn't, that didn't renounce the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, you martyred all the disciples, you martyred all the ones that lived their life for the Most High and for truth truth and honesty. Oh, you martyred all of them people. You got to do that already. Okay. That's how you got this land. That's how you got all the lands where you're at. Because these lands don't belong to you, Gentile. These lands do not belong to your people. These are not pale skinned people's lands where you're residing, where you're squatting. These are our lands that you stole from us and that will be restored to us. They shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. We've done that. We're doing that on a daily basis. So woe be unto you, Gentile. Woe be unto all you nations that took us into captivity. Woe be unto all the whole world because great judgment is coming upon you. We return from our stiff neck ways. We return from our wicked deeds. For we remember the way of our fathers which sinned before the Most High. We understand why we went into captivity for hundreds of years. We accept our responsibility. We accept our judgment. We did accept it. We do accept it. And you going to accept yours as well. We've been raised up to tell you about your judgment that's coming upon you. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers. See, this is yet to happen. This is yet to come to pass. Because right now we're still subservient to you Gentiles that set your government on our lands. I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel up out of the land that I have given them. Now, we are not in our land, so this has not come to pass yet. But see, that verse right before this, this verse number 33, that took place. <laughs> but you want to ignore that, right? <laughs> you want to ignore that. Man, that's irrelevant to you, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Woe be unto you arrogant Gentiles, you arrogant nations that think you ain't got to pay for the sins of your fathers, your forefathers, and your sins. You really think you ain't got to pay for these evil, wicked deeds that you've done and downtrodden the father's people for hundreds of years? Seriously? Mm-hmm. 
He, he just put in my spirit wisdom of Solomon. Let's go get it. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. Then shall the righteous man, this is wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and may no account of his labors. You Gentiles don't give a squat about us and our labors that we've done for you. We've been, we've been the subservience. We've been the servants this whole time. But you've been, you are blinded. You don't even see it. You don't even see that it's pale skinned people that own, run, and control everything. You don't even see it that it's pale skinned people that's the richest people upon the face of the earth. You, you, you don't even even see it you don't see how we're subservient to you when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond that they looked for now see all of these scriptures y'all took out <laughs> I know why you took him out. <laughs> I know why you don't agree. <laughs> I know why you why you're like, oh, we, we don't we don't deem that credible. <laughs> but we can clearly see that it's coming to pass now, can't we? <laughs> and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he? Who we had sometimes in derision, a proverb of reproach? These niggers? Seriously? What? 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 They, they, are, they are the scum of the earth. They, they're the thugs. They're the criminals. The, the, the niggers? No, not the niggers. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. I just can't believe it. Oh my God. He's really, he's really melanated. He, 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 they're going to say black. They're going to be like, oh my God, he's really black. <laughs> oh man. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High and his lot among the saints? Therefore, we have erred from the way of truth. There we go. There, there we go there, Gentiles. There we go there. That, that, there's a connection. There's a connection to that. Therefore, we have erred in the way of truth. The, the Gentiles shall come from the ends of the earth and shall declare, Surely we have an error that lies. That's what, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 16? Let me, let me see where that's at. Where is that? I will find it. Jeremiah 16, 19. Okay. There it is. All right. So, yeah, there it is. Oh, your Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Wisdom of Solomon. Therefore we have erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness has not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Yeah, things wherein there is no profit. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through the deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Most High, we have not known it. What has pride profited in us? What has pride profited in us? That pride where there is no... The vanity, the vanity, you inherited lies. Vanity, pride.
pride and things where there is no profit. Okay? Go back over the wisdom of Solomon. All right? Where does pride profit in us? What good is riches with our vaulting products? You are going to say that, Gentile. You are going to ask yourself that. You are going to say, what is pride profited in us? Or what good has riches with our vaulting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow. And as a post that hastes by. And as a ship which passes over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found. Neither the pathway of the kill in the waves. Or as when a bird has flown through the air, there is no token of her to be found, but the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings, and parted with the violent noise and motion of them, is passed through, and therein after no sign where she is went, no, there is no sign to be found. Or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, it parted the air, which immediately cometh together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. Even so, we in like manner, as soon as we are born, begin to draw to our end and have no sign of virtue to show, but we're consumed in our own wickedness. We were born into deception, my people. This verse right here connects to that. We were born into this deception. I was born into the time of the worst of the heathen. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind, like a thin froth that is driven away with a storm, like as the smoke which is dispersed here and there with a tempest and passes away as the remembrance of a guest that tarries but a day. But the righteous live forevermore. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Most High. Their reward is also with the Lord. And care of them with the Most High. And the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from Yahushua's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them and with his arm he shall protect them. That is our protection this time around, you Gentile, you wicked people that think you got your plans to try to take us out. You bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring all your military might. Bring it, bring it, cause Joel, Joel, what chapter is that? Oh my gosh, oh my God, I'm just gonna flow by way of the spirit. I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, beat your plowshares. Beat your plowshares in the swords. Bring it. Bring it. Bring all of them. Wake up your valiant men. Wake them all up. Bring them on down. Come on down. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The children also of Judah. This is Job chapter 3, starting in verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that they might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head, and I will sell your sons and daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the same beings, to a people afar off, for the Most High have spoken it. Proclaim this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither calls thy mighty ones to come down O Yahuwah let the heathen be wakened and come
come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Most High is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Most High also shall war out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, and the Most High shall roar out of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Most High will be the hope of his people, and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Most High, your power, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her no more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop new wine, shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk. All the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Most High, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom will be a desolate wilderness, for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land but Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem from generation to generation and I will cleanse for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the most high dwelleth in Zion oh yeah this great judgment is coming upon you Gentiles like y'all are beside yourself with arrogance and I'm going to end it on that note.